Hi everybody and welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. I am Greg, I'm your host. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're new here, thank you for joining us. And if you have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to come out with content on the daily basis if possible. And if not, I at least try to come out with content as frequently as possible. And speaking of content, you're not going to want to miss today's content because we are talking about Carson Wentz. It's breaking news that the Indianapolis Colts have agreed with the Washington Commanders to trade quarterback Carson Wentz to Washington for, in exchange for two third round draft picks. So Washington will give the Indianapolis Colts this year's third round draft pick and next year's third round draft pick for Carson Wentz. Washington, as we all know, really needed a quarterback. They told us that they were going to swing big for a franchise quarterback this year. They called all of the other 31 teams inquiring about their quarterbacks. And yes, even, even Kansas City inquiring about Patrick Mahomes. And yes, I mean, everybody had a really big laugh about that. But they did their due diligence. And they really offered a lot for Russell Wilson. Seattle, of course, you know, said they were not trading Russell Wilson. And then they turned around and did what? They traded Russell Wilson. Wilson did not want to come to Washington. He wanted to go to Denver. Seattle really wanted to trade Russell Wilson to the AFC. Did not want to trade him to the NFC. There you go. So they lost out on Russell Wilson. Aaron Rodgers, of course, wound up re-signing with the Green Bay Packers for a really ludicrous deal. Ridiculous. $200 million deal with $150 million of that, like upfront guaranteed. I mean, my goodness. So, of course, we were out of the running for Aaron Rodgers. And with all the legal issues that Des uh, Deshaun Watson is facing, we knew that that was probably not going to be likely as it is. And there were reports that. Carolina was kind of the front runner for Deshaun Watson. There were also reports that Seattle was really sizing up for a chance to make a huge blockbuster trade for Deshaun Watson, which made sense because they got all of these draft picks, you know, for Jesson Russell Wilson to Denver. And then they could use all of those draft, probably wouldn't even have to use all of those draft picks. But they had those in handy to then turn around and get Deshaun Watson, who they would probably feel at this point is an upgrade to Russell Wilson because, you know, franchise, quarterback, younger, all of that, you know, I mean, really, they would have come out ahead of, of the game on that. It would have been a brilliant move. So Washington finally decided, you know what, we've got to make a move for somebody. And so out of the blue, they signed Carson Wentz. Well, I guess it hasn't been official yet. They will sign him, but sources say that uh, Washington has agreed to pay Carson Wentz the remaining, the remainder of his 28 million owed to him. So already, uh, the Washington Commanders are scrambling with their their cap figures to try to fit that in with the cap, along with a five million dollar signing bonus that Carson Wentz is owed as well. So they're looking at having to see if they can restructure Landon Collins' uh, um, contract. They have to try to do that. If not, they'll probably wind up cutting Landon Collins outright. They can save about $6 million, six million I think, against the cap if they cut Landon Collins. They would prefer to keep him because he really seems to be working in that hybrid linebacker safety position. Uh, but if not, then they'll have to cut him outright. What can I say? All right, Carson Wentz, is he an upgrade over Taylor Heineke? Absolutely, he is. He's an upgrade over Taylor Heineke. He threw for almost 4,000 yards this past season. Only had like, I think, maybe seven interceptions to, I want to say it was like 20 or so touchdowns. So he had really good stats this past year. But here's the thing. Here's the kicker with this. We're not giving up a first for him. 
we can still go in and we can still draft a quarterback this year, or we don't have to. We can use his services as a bridge quarterback this year. We can sign him to a one-year deal. We can sign him to a short-term contract, maybe a couple of years that we sign him. We don't necessarily have to use a draft pick this year for a quarterback. We can wait until next year when there is a much deeper draft class for a quarterback and draft a much better quarterback next year, which might honestly be something that I would advise the team to do. Now, is that the sexy move that fans want to hear? Absolutely not. Deshaun Watson is probably not going to wind up playing any football this year. I just have a feeling he's going to wind up getting indicted. And if so, he's not going to play any football this year. We all know that Aaron Rodgers is staying in Green Bay. We all know that Russell Wilson is going to Denver. So who do you have left? None of us were really excited about the thought of Mitch uh, Trubisky. None of us were excited about him. And then nobody was excited about Jimmy Garoppolo. The Colts will receive Commander's third round picks in 22 and uh, 2023. Uh, and this is from um, Adam Schefter. Um, the 2023rd round, uh, third rounder can become a second round selection if Wentz plays 70% of Washington's snaps. So next year's draft pick can become a second round pick if Wentz plays 70% of the snaps. The team also swaps second round picks in 2022 with the Colts moving up from 47 overall to 42. Now, that's not a huge leap, but it's still a leap. Uh, sources also told Schefter that Washington will pay the full $28 million, as I alluded to earlier, and the $5 million uh, roster bonus is coming next week. Um, and we also heard that, you know, uh, they talked about the uh, move that the commanders tried to make with Seattle to get uh, Russell Wilson they offered three first rounders for Russell Wilson to Seattle and and Seattle blocked at that. I mean, I'm, my goodness. You know, Carson Wentz is a starter. He may not be on the same or level as Russell Wilson, obviously, or Aaron Rodgers. We know that. He's probably more on the level of Kirk Cousins. And, you know, that's probably okay, honestly. I think that he can be a very serviceable quarterback for us. Is he a franchise guy? Probably not probably not a franchise guy and I think we're still looking for that franchise quarterback but if he can at least give us a couple of pretty good seasons for us and get us into the playoffs that is something that we are desperately trying we can't keep you know having band-aids to the situation now here are definitely some red flags I know that we have with Carson Wentz the uh, Colts spent all of these draft picks and then after one season they were willing to almost cut him outright which a lot of us were kind of waiting for Carson Wentz to just be cut and my thoughts were let's just get if we're going to get Carson Wentz wait for the Colts to cut him and then pick him up but you know we kind of went ahead and gave them two third rounders which actually is going to wind up being a third rounder and a second rounder. And so, you know, the Colts are really getting a very, very good deal out of this. They're probably going to wind up getting a much better deal out of this than what we really thought. And, you know, the deal is not terrible, but, you know, did Washington overpay? Tom will tell. You know, Tom will definitely tell. Wentz is definitely a better quarterback than Taylor Heineke. Before his injury, Carson Wentz was... You know, he was a dynamic quarterback. He was very athletic. He could escape. I remember, you know, Washington playing against Philadelphia, and you thought you had Wentz, and then all of a sudden, he would come out of this big pile of players, and he would scramble and get first downs, and he was just such a frustrating quarterback to play against. And he was like a Houdini. And I don't know if he still has that type of magic or not. We still have to draft a quarterback. Now, the question will be, will we draft that quarterback in this year's draft? Or do we feel like we're good enough that we can kind of roll the dice and, you know, wait until next year and draft that quarterback next year? Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please consider, you know, subscribing to this channel. Like this video. Comment. Let me know what you think about Carson Wentz. Share this video, and with all that said, 
Hell to the Washington Commanders. Let's go, Maniacs! See you in the next one.